guys what's up Pisces thanks for watching appreciate it this is gonna be a reading for your week ahead Sunday through Saturday we're gonna break it down day by day and look at the general energies and actions for each day so you can have a heads up for what's coming up um so I will timestamp this below so if it does resonate please make sure that you like and subscribe below so that you can come back to it throughout the week all right overall energy so remember it's a general reading just take what's yours and leave the rest behind also remember that the energies can be reversed on each any day it could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with someone around you so flip it how you need to so for your overall energy you have the knight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles um a lot of uh earth energy there but it really feels like slowly but surely you're like regaining yourself on like an independent level like even if you're single even if you're not single even if it's financially like just you're really rising up and it may have taken a while you know some things could have happened in the past um as life does but it almost feels like like you're getting to a finish line you're getting to some type of place where you're getting a lot of security and stability because of that all right so for sunday you have the page of swords <clears throat> that's funny that's the same card i was just um pointing to somebody's spying in here and it may be family or it may be something um, along the lines of money for some. For some, it has to do with like somebody feeling like loyalty was involved here or like, th yeah, like things were supposed to be stable. But I mean, that's the main thing here is that for some, somebody has cancer energy like driving by. Um, show me that Ten of Pentacles. Because the Ten of Pentacles has to do with family, stability, uh, commitment. The eight and the nine. Somebody could be watching you at work. But whatever you're working on, keep your money part to yourself. Um, because the eight and the Ten of Pentacles, like I was saying, you're coming up here like in a major way. And it could be financially. But whatever you're working on there, relationship or work-wise, it's, it's going to bring you like a crazy big windfall from it. A lot of stability and that comfort off of it um, but there's somebody spying there so take that it could be spying on edge on like at work something that you're doing along the lines of work all right show me this king of swords from Monday for Pisces so this is Aquarius Libra Gemini energy does not have to be though wow the sun leo energy there's a lot of happiness here i don't know what the unless you're dealing with all right so for some it's a capricorn for some this is probably an ex possibly somebody that you have children with but uh, also maybe somebody who broke your heart um so there could be some type of communication that's there that comes in from uh, but, i mean shoot with the sun it does look like like i said <clears throat> that's happiness on on some level but it also may be that some light is shed on a situation as well but the devil is there so just make sure because you're moving up in like a great way especially within yourself so you know um of course temptation is going to try to kick you right all right show me this three of cups for tuesday for pisces the page of pentacles so there could be an opportunity to reconcile with someone here um, for some there's a job opportunity that you're celebrating or like a you know some type of achievement that you're celebrating for some there's like a phone call here and trying you know you may be going out with friends or you know dating but for some it feels like this this could be a person yeah see there's that page of swords not for all but it could be from whoever this was that was spying on Sunday because we have somebody here like worrying like crazy, worried out of their mind. Like it's, it's, they're probably physically feeling this. <clears throat> 
All right, show me the seven of cups for Wednesday for Pisces, please. The Hierophant, the Six of Wands. So you could be dealing with a Taurus here, but you could be doing something um, spiritual, religious. There is some type of victory around it. For some, you could be getting like multiple awards for something. Um, but as far as relationship, it's not really a lot there except for, um, you know, unless you have options or choices, just be really certain what's going on and what you want there. Because there is something here that, um, if it's around like something, you know, that you're doing work-wise, there's a lot of success around that. As a person, this could be somebody who you're kind of, you may have blocked communication from altogether, but if this is a person, you definitely have some walls up or someone does, um, maybe because this person, they could be younger, they could be in and out, or maybe you just worry that they will be, that this is going to let you down. All right, so for Thursday, you have the Eight of Cups. With the Two of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, you're disconnecting from something. You're turning your back towards it. Um, <clears throat> this is a card of poverty, so just watch your money. But it really feels like somebody is walking away from a situation and just maybe ghosting it. Because with the Two of Swords here, it goes back to what I was telling you the day before. Like, just be certain. There could have been like a marriage or something like that was that was involved. It could have been religious factors or things like that. Like, maybe somebody wanted monogamy and the other person, like, uh, or marriage and the other person didn't, you know, kind of like a non-committal or <clears throat> not as committed. But this is kind of somebody, it feels like for some, it's like just walking away and leaving a situation without closure and just kind of but also with this two of swords you may walk away from a situation or vice versa because you feel like there's nothing left that you can do with it like things are came to a crossroads and you're not really sure how to move forward with it oh there's a seven of swords at the bottom and so there i mean there could be paranoia around a situation there could have been some sneakiness and somebody did just ghost the situation Show me this Four of Wands for Pisces for Friday, please. Some of you have a stalker, somebody possibly like watching you at work, or if you do something where you're like in the public eye. The Queen of Cups, that's your energy. There's that Four of Wands again. It looks like you're making a choice to, um, <clears throat> I mean, it looks like to stabilize something here. Um, home, family. Oh, you could be moving into a new home. It looks like you're pretty excited there. Um, somebody could be traveling to your home as well. For some, yeah, you're moving. You're definitely moving out of this energy that was there the day before. It looks like you're enthusiastic. You're excited about something. The wheel, like it was just a matter of time. For some, you still have somebody spying there and you may have... Uh, some gossip around the situation as well. Not for all though. Shook shit. Alright, show me this Ten of Pentacles for Pisces for Friday. So the Ten of Pentacles is also here Sunday, but it doesn't have to do, you know, it doesn't have to be that one is the same as the other. The Three of Swords. Interesting. You could be visiting family that's at a distance. Please, somebody is really upset they do um they're stressing here maybe wanting to return to you things aren't as bad as they uh, it feels like they could be cleared up if someone wanted to but the three of swords and the five of cups here it's almost like something was supposed to be loyal be stable be committed and or uh, something along that line and I don't think that worked out. I think that within this particular situation, there's some distance, maybe some regret, but there's definitely a lot of pain around this. The reason I said I think somebody could fix it if they wanted to is because we have the Empress and the Two of Cups. So with this card, 
there's still two cups standing. Someone's just focusing on what's built here. So it looks like they want to return. You may have multiple people competing shit for you and now this person is worried um, or vice versa, wanting to reconcile, but take it how it resonates with you. All right, Pisces, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Don't forget, it's also time stamped below. For some, don't, um, like I said, if, if this is like a cash windfall or something, keep this to yourself. Um, because you're doing big things, especially like on a personal level. All right, Pisces, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.